Congo. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I say we all must go. <laughs> Let's put that up. 
Let's play that boogie shoes right, right, while, while we're going to kick off. This is right here, man. Hey. Yeah. Come on. This joint dropped today. Come on. The 12 o'clock last night, man. It went on to all platforms. Man, if y'all don't tell me on this song. If y'all don't tell me on this song, man. I'm going to stop y'all. 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 Super excited about my song finally hitting the platform. Cause I'm always talking about it. it's great to come out. It's great to come out. People hitting me, texting me, telling me, man, where is that? When it's gonna drop, where is that? How can we find it? Now it's there. there. Ain't no excuses now. All I wanna see now is the numbers go up. I wanna see the numbers go up, man. Because they already planted in North uh yeah, North Carolina. North Carolina and South Carolina, they already playing it. I already know. Uh, I put a footage up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, for one of the radio announcers that was uh, announcing it and was playing it. So, it's it's uh, it's official now, man. It's official. Now I can move forward on to my next uh, single that I want to release, which is uh, Let's Do It Again. I want to jump over that and do something else, man, but I think I, I need I need to put that out because everybody been telling me, man, that, that should have been the first one came out. But, of course, you know, I want to I wanted to hit y'all hard with something real, real nice and funky. Let, let's play that again, man, because I want them to know, man, that thing nice and funky, man. That's that boogie shoe. You got to put your shoes on, man. Don't feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man, that's it. Yeah, that's that that's that's the joint, man. But um I wanna share some things with y'all, man, about the coronavirus. Look at this here. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that, man? Yeah. This is the mask that I chose to wear. While I'm out here, man, dealing with what's going on, it got a whole bunch of music signs on. I done seen some people on um, Instagram with them, too. I really have. But I made this with a little two ties. And I cover. I got little ears, so it's hard to get around these little joints. 
Okay, give me a minute. I'm trying to work this one. The other one went right on. But there you go. Yeah, see that? Practicing, practicing, man. Look, I also got some for sale. Ah, you knew that was coming, man. You knew that was coming. Because I'm an entrepreneur, man. I ain't got time for the games with you. Now, look. These are some T-shirts that that's, was made for the coronavirus, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. Official. Official, man. You see that? Official. This joint is official, man. All y'all got to do is hit me up, man. I got them in all colors, all sizes. I was going down to A, man, to sell all these joints. That's no joke. I was going down there, man, and I knew I would have got rid of everything that I had. I had boogie shoes, shirts. I had the Let's Do It Again band shirts. Man, I was ready, man. I was ready, man. I mean, you know, I was a little disappointed, but, you know, things happen, man. You can't, you know, that's just like, that's just like this virus hit, hit the city. You know, stop everything. You know, now, I want to talk about that a little bit because um, I've been hearing different people go online and talk about the stimulus and how our government is treating us, you know, far as, you know, trying to look out for us. Because as we know, we're going into the end of another month. And the new month coming in, we're going to have to, man, you know, pay some bills. Now, and I heard a person online that was saying that um, I don't want to say exactly where it was at because you probably heard it too. I don't want to say exactly what uh, city or state or country it was at. But they said that they, they, they spot, their government was giving them $2,000 a month until this is over. They ain't had to pay. And I'm talking about with the $2,000, they still saying they ain't had to pay no electric bill. They ain't had to pay no car notes, no insurance or nothing, man. They just saying they was giving that man just for them to just to live. And the lady was saying that that was a good thing because by everybody staying in the house, they still feeding the community money because they still going shopping and they shopping online. They buying stuff. You know, UPS is busy. They busy with packages now, man. You know what I mean? So, and when I think about it, I'm saying myself, right, like, they gave us 1200 Okay, we, we grateful. We grateful for the 12 But the 12 ain't enough. The 12 ain't enough, man. If you own a home, you got a mortgage. If you got a car, too, you got one of them may be paid off, and the other one may got a car note. Then you got insurance for both of them. Then you got your other little bills, you know what I'm saying? Other little stuff that you, you know, created, maybe getting. And I wonder what they're going to do, man. Because they said the 1200 was a one-time thing for us. A one-time thing. So when we go into this, this next month, man, what they going to do? What 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 uh Trump gonna do, man? He gonna say, man, go ahead and cut them another one. Because they got another place that said that they gave they uh President Gate was doing eighty five percent of whatever their bills was, they was getting them eighty five percent every month uh of the money to uh help them, you know, do what they doing. And they ain't gotta pay no bills. They, they say, man, they need to shut all that down, man. How you going to pay bills when you ain't working and you ain't got no money coming in? That don't even, I mean, that's just logic. Don't even make sense, man. Now they're trying to say when the winter come, it's coming back. They saying it's coming back. It's going to be like the flu, but it's going to be the corona. It's so much like it's just nonstop going day, day, day. They got the president saying one thing, then they got the, the 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 medical people saying one thing, then they got the professionals saying one thing, and it, and for me, man, it's a mess. It's like they they don't even know what they're doing. They don't. I don't know. What if you was the president? What would you do 
for your 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 city? What would you do to handle a situation like this where everybody got to have masks on, gloves? You really don't supposed to go out. You really don't supposed to be you know uh, communicating with people. And what would you do to you know make your city sustain? Because from what they saying, we going like this here. Straight down. So that means we go, we going to crash. When we crash, meaning we ain't got no money. Right? Ain't that what that, that what that mean when you crash? You ain't got no money. The government ain't got no money to do nothing. And I know we make money here. We, make, we got the treasure right here. We make money. But I think they don't have no paper. Wherever they get the paper from to make the money. And all these things are nothing but like rumors. You know what I'm saying? These are things that I done heard. I don't know because I'm not with the government at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm an entrepreneur, man. I do my own thing, man. You dig what I'm saying? And right now, I'm working for free. I'm working for free, man. But it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right because as long as I can come on here and talk to y'all about what's going on. I would love the feedback, but I, I, for some reason I can't get the feedback. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to give y'all the number, 240-719-2560. Now I'm going to slow it down for you. 240-719-2560. Feel free to call in at any time. For open discussion about whatever my subject may be. Whatever my subject may be. The day when I came in here, I was so super excited. I jumped right over my little, you know, I always do a little, uh, I want I, I call it a nugget about something that I've seen, something that I heard, something that I think I need to share with you all, man, that, you know, out there. And I jumped over that because I was so excited about this, this song coming out, man, and, and, and I, I know it's going to do good. I know it's going to do good. Um, and what I wanted to, uh, my little nugget is, how do we, how do we stay focused on going forward, progressing in our life if we keep running into these stumble blocks? Can somebody call me and tell me, how can we, as people, continue to be positive going forward with all that we're dealing with? Because everybody is dealing with something when it comes down to this coronavirus. Everybody. How do we keep going forward, though? You know what I mean? What, what we're praying is we're keeping the faith. Are we just true believers? Or are we just dealing with it day by day? That's a question. You can type it in your answer. You can call me and give you your answer. Or you can just think to yourself. Because you know the truth. Because me personally, I try to stay active. I try to stay active and doing other things that I can do that I probably didn't have enough chance to do with before the corona hit. Because before this hit, man, I was super, super busy. Honestly, I was super, super busy. So now, this give me a chance. Just like I say, I'm, 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 I'm doing art. You know, I ain't did art in so many years. Let me put this up in okay, case some more people done joined and didn't see the T-shirt. I, I got time now to, to do art. These are the coronavirus shirts that I made to sell. You know, make a few dollars. They ain't costing a whole lot of money. You know, it, I guess I call it gas money for me. You know what I mean? But I got time to do that. I got time to, like, sit down and, and work on new music that I want to put out. Uh, I got time to communicate better with uh, different people. I don't want to say I got time to work out, man, because if you a person that works out, this is the time for you to get it in. 
this is time for you to get it in. I I don't know, man. I, I done worked out for so many years. I'm talking about like years and years straight. That right now, this ain't the time for me to work out. I think I'm healthy. No, I ain't even going to say that. I know I'm healthy. I know I'm healthy. When last time I went to the doctor, the doctor said, man, you healthy as a bull. You know what I mean? So I already know, man, that, you know, we got to take care of our bodies from the inside out. Not outside in. From the inside out. So that means you got to watch what you eat. You got to watch what you eat. You can't, because you ain't, you know, going out and doing too much. And you just in the house and you eating all day. And you eating all this pork and pork chops, pork rhymes. You know how y'all do it. And what I see a lot of people eating now is crabs. Which that's good because that's seafood. A whole lot of people, that's all. You hear people say, man, I want some crabs. I'm trying to go get some crabs. That's all. And I can't stand crabs. Thanks for them hearts. I can't stand crabs. What's up, little sis? I can't stand crabs. I don't like the smell of them. Now, I love seafood. But I can't. Man, I'm talking about, man, the smell of them crabs. Just, and I've been like that since I was a kid. I never I never really liked it, uh, crabs. Seriously. But the ones that do like crabs, hey, thumbs up. Thumbs up. All I'm saying is that this is a, not a time for you to take advantage of eating and sleeping because that's where you gain your most weight when you eat and then you sleep and if you're at home all day and you ain't really got too much going on then that's all you're gonna do is eat and sleep but you're gonna gain that weight you're gonna gain it man and i'm telling you when the summertime come man you're gonna be in the mirror talking about man what the hell so now let's take advantage of thinking smart working out now, let me, let me explain something about working out. Because I used to be, uh, I used to train a lot of people, man. And I'm going to say all over the world. In boxing and fitness. Now, people kind of get it, what's the word? Scrooge, mixed up. Yeah, about when you're trying to work out. And, and I don't know if you're trying to get in shape. You're trying to build mus muscle. You're trying to. Lose weight. Okay, let me let me give you my terminology from what I've seen that work over years. Now everybody got they, they because what I'm saying don't mean okay that's the right way or he telling the truth or the other person that told you something different they wrong and no everybody got their own way on how they do their own method of training for whatever reason. My method is this right here. If you're trying to lose weight, losing weight is burning off water that's in your body. And in order to lose weight, you have to sweat. If you're not running, jogging, exercising, that's making you sweat. That's why they used to put the plastic bags. Y'all remember that? What's up, TC? Remember you used to put the plastic bags on you? And, and to, to sweat? Because that's how you do it. That's how you lose weight. You don't lose weight by lifting weights. You don't lose weight like that. What you doing when you lifting weights, you building mass. So you building muscles. You building muscles. When you lifting weights, when you doing jumping jacks, bending reaches, stretches, arm rotations, you're toning your body. That means you're toning up, you're sharpening up all your, your muscles. So please understand, if you feel as though you want to lose weight, you cannot be eating a whole bunch of rice, potatoes, mashed potatoes, tater chips. You can't eat all that starch. You can't do it because starch ain't going to do nothing but give you mass. It's going to give you mass. And I'm not saying to you all that, oh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm cut up. Nah. I can, use, I can lose some of this. I can lose some of that. Believe that. I can lose some of that. But I'm just not mentally there on trying to lose that. I, I don't know, you know. I got some issues. You know what I mean? But. 
I'm here to tell you all, in this time that we, we home doing nothing, let's don't get lost into ourselves. To where as though we think, okay, now I can kick my feet back. All I can do is look at TV all day and snack on chips and eat this and eat that and eat that. Because guess what? When the summertime get here, man, around about July, man, you can be looking like saying, man, damn, I'm about to lose this or I'm about to get rid of that. And then you done it to yourself. And once you reach a certain age, it's hard to lose weight. Now, I know some, some uh, male and female trainers. They tight. I'm talking about they tight. From head to toe, they tight, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they do. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of people in the gym now. Is the gym still open? The, the fitness centers and stuff? Yeah, see what I'm saying? So you, so you got it. And I'm saying... Body exercise, when you're toning your body, is, is your own weight is, is best. It's best. Now, if you need, uh, I don't want to say some assistance, man, because I'm too busy. But if you go online, man, there's a whole lot of people on the IG, like, <laughs> saying, man, if you want training and all this and that, man, that you can just put it up on your phone, follow the direction, and you're there. Three times a week, y'all. I can't even do it. Okay. Three times a week. That's what you need. Don't work out one week and go on an eating spree. I mean, work out one day and go on an eating spree for the next four days. And then the next week, you tell me I'm going to start back next week. Nah. We got to be consistent. We got to be strong-minded. And we got to make it a part of our day just like you used to do. Everything else that you did. When you wake up in the morning, you're like, okay, I'm going to the bathroom, take care of my hygiene and put my clothes on. Boom, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the store. After that, I'm going here. After that, I'm going here. You follow what I'm saying? So you got to put that in your program. You got to figure out whatever time that you, you feel is best for you to work out, then that's the time you get it in. Every three, every, I don't want to say every day, but every other day, Three days a week. So if you're doing it at 12 o'clock, you got to do it 12 o'clock on Monday, 12 o'clock on Wednesday, and 12 o'clock on Friday. Don't try to do it 12 o'clock on Monday and then, oh, I ain't going to do it until about 3 o'clock on, on uh, uh, Wednesday. Because you got to get your body trained into knowing, okay, this is the time we're going to work, this is the time we're going to lose, or this is the time we're going to get strong. It's very important, man. We're getting in the age that we got to be healthy. This is the reason why a lot of people done passed away, man, that's elder because they, they had some, some, some illness that they was, you know, that they was, it was a challenge for them already. And I'm telling y'all, our illness come from what we put in our body. What you eating. That's saying you are what you eat. I believe that. That's why I'm all fat because all I want to do is eat junk. So you are what you eat. And if we care about who we are, if we want to live long, even because if you're healthy, then you can fight off these diseases that, that we're running into, man. Your body got the right thing to fight them all. If you're not taking vitamins, then you need to take vitamins. Thanks again for them hearts. You need, you need to do that. Let's don't, let's, I'm trying to tell y'all something, man. I mean, like, Sometimes we can know ourselves, but sometimes all it takes somebody else to just talk about it, just to remind you, just for you to get back on point about what you should be doing. Because we all got stuff that we want to do, stuff that we should be doing, that we're not doing because we being lazy, because we caught up on the TV. We just want to lay around. You know, come on, come on. Let's act like we're going to work every day, eight hour job. I mean, when you get up at 9 o'clock in the morning, man, you should be busy at least till 5 o'clock. Then relax. Then lay on back. Thanks for joining. You follow what I'm saying? And it ain't hard. We make it hard. We make it hard. Let's go to that Boogie Shoes joint, man, again, man. Because I know they talking about this nigga better be quiet. We going to Boogie Shoes you, man, because I need y'all to go online. Find this song, man. 
download it. Send it to your friend that's living in California, L.A., Chicago, Baltimore, New York, Philly, Texas. Uh, uh, give me some help. Give me some help. <laughs> Send it all over the world. What I'm trying to do, and it's for real, I'm trying to take boogie shoes and make it like Chuck Brown did. Uh, uh, um, money, money, money. Because money, money, money went all over the world, man. Chuck did that. And I think that this song just got a certain, a certain pop to it that is a party song. It's a happy song. You know what I mean? You getting, you getting, yeah, you getting two different things. You getting the go-go feel, and then you getting the R&B feel. You can't beat that in a song, man. I think we're on the road. The video is already out. Y'all already know that. All of y'all that's out here that know how to cook, got catering companies, cooking for people, please make sure that you cooking with the right type of oil, peanut oil. You know, we, we got to get healthy. We got to take care of the people we feed. I'm telling you that because as you already know, TSB catering and event. Oh yeah, we knocking them down. We knocking them down with that food. And it's all healthy. All healthy. I don't even think we do pork at all. It got it got to be a request. You know what I mean? It got to be a request. We don't even do pork uh, product at all. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm just saying, just we got to look out for one another. You know, thanks again for them hearts. I love to see it. We got to look out for one another, man. Our kids, now look, shut them down for a minute, Mo. Because look, this is something serious right here. This is something serious. I need to talk about this. About our kids. I'm talking about our small kids, man. They out of school now. We got a lot of parents doing homeschooling, man. You know what I mean? Because they, they sending the work to you all or whatever, however it's going, you know, and you got a homeschooler. This is the time where you see what a teacher deals with your child in school. Not throwing no shade. But this is the time you see what your child doing in school. But y'all got to be there. Eight to whatever time. Y'all got to make sure, man, that they get them lessons. They need to understand that even though the, the, you know, the economy is all messed up and kind of kind of we on stop, freeze, hold, oh, wait a minute. That's the little dance song. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got to keep them programmed. I don't know what that about. We, we got to keep them programmed. And we got to keep them learning. Please don't be at home, man, and, and just think that it's okay. That well, you, you tired, you ain't got to do no more. Nah, because if they was in school, they don't get that. They don't get that. And at this time, this is what's going on right now. We got we to gotta make sure, man, that, that we, we make sure our kids getting what we giving them. See, it's a difference because they, they belong to us. So we want to make sure we know they know what they're doing, what they got to do, not what they want to do. Kids do not make decisions. They follow directions. If your kid is making decisions 
on what's going on in your house home, then you need to get some therapy. You need to get some therapy. Because in order for your kid to be successful in the world that we living in, you got to teach him how. That's how we got to where we at today. We was taught. I'm an old school for real, man. You know, like, I said the other day, man, I, 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 the kids nowadays, I don't think I can raise them. Because I'll be too rough on them. You know what I'm saying? I'll be too rough on them, man, because I believe in, I believe in toughness because that's what makes, that what works. When you're too easy with them, when you're too light with them, and, you let them do what they want to do because you want to be the, the good parent. You want to be the, the, you know, I'm not even going to say you want to be a friend with your kid. I'm not going to say that. But just you just want to be the good parent. And you start letting them do stuff and, you know, nah. Nah, man. Because if you let them do that when they get a certain age, you ain't going to have, they ain't, man, look. Once you get used to something, then that's what it is. But I be seeing kids not small kids. I'm talking about teenagers now. When I see them out here and they be disrespecting their mothers and their fathers, their grandparents, their uncles, and you know, all that, man. That come because when they was growing up, man, nobody was disciplining them. They ain't had nobody letting them know, nigga, it ain't even like that. Stay in line. And see, that's how I came up, man. Stay in line. And of course, yeah, I became a mess. But I do know what works. And what works is following the rules and the directions that set before you. That goes with the same thing with people that want to go to work late all the time. That's a habit. That's not, oh, I overslept. That's a habit. You're used to that. The boss ain't saying nothing, so guess what? You're going to do it. Some jobs, you ain't going to be able to do that. Three-time max. You in there three-time max late, you fired. Bye-bye, man. We don't need you, man. Because we ain't, we need people that's going to be here on time. It's, it's, it's called following rules and directions. And we got to have that in our life in anything that we do. We got to have that, man. Because other than that, we'll just be out here running wild. That's why they got police officers. Just imagine our world with no police. Even though we know a lot of them rotten as a mug. But we still need them. Let me tell you what experience I had that a police officer told me one time. I don't know how we end up in a conversation. But he said to me, he said, man, you know, people always talk about they hate police. They don't like police. He said, but soon as somebody break in their house, who they call? He said, soon as somebody get behind somebody, who do they call? He was right. They call the police. But you can't stand them. But the police is just here, man, to just kind of, I guess, to keep order. And like I said again, I would never say that they ain't, you know, everybody ain't the same. You got your good apples. You got your bad apples. I know that personally. I know. But all I'm saying is that we have to have structure in our lives and we have to lead by an example. And we have to teach our young kids that's coming up behind us. If you don't teach them, how they going to know? Because they learn from somebody else and learn the wrong stuff. Prime example right here. I'm the first, I'm the first to admit it. Me following my buddies in the street led me right where I was at in my life. Following them. And I was being structured. I was being structured by my uncles. My mom was a single parent. She, you know, she raised her two kids basically by herself without my aunts and my uncles' help. You know what I'm saying? But it starts at home. This is where it started at. And once we get at a certain age and we can get out there, because we always want to be grown. I'm talking about what? 11, 12, we want to be grown. We don't want your mother and father tell you, 
what to do with nothing. I'm telling you, I mean, I'm speaking truth. I used to be the same way. I can't wait till I get grown. As soon as I, as soon as I got 18, I'm running around with the wrong dudes. Before I was 19, I'm over at DC jail. Because I'm following somebody else. I'm listening to somebody else telling me, this is, this is what we need to do. This is the way. And as an adult, only thing I knew, he was taught the wrong way. And I'm following him. So now, guess who the leader? Me. That's who. You want to play rough? Okay. <laughs> You're not going to lead me into no darkness. You're not going to do that. I'm not going to allow that. And I'm going to try to save you by trying to tell you if you you thinking wrong. But I can't make you do what I say. You have to make your own decision. But we all was blessed with right and wrong from the beginning of time. And if you don't know right and wrong, because we're going to make our own decisions. God gave us that will to, to do what you want to do. But if you know the right thing to do, then the best thing to do is try to stay on the right path, doing the right things, and then your life will be last longer. And not saying that you're not going to make no bumps or you're not going to make no mistakes, but let's don't make no patterns. Because because you did this, okay, I forgive you, man, that's cool. Then you do it again, uh, come on, man, get yourself together. Then you do it again, man, it's like that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing, period. You know what you're doing. Everybody trying to put it on the, I'm bipolar. I'm bipolar. That's that's the new thing now. They bipolar. They bipolar, I'm bushing your head with one. That's it. I don't think it's, I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I don't have conversations about this, you know. Like I say, when I'm talking about certain things, it's not that, you know, it's like what I'm saying got to be right. I'm not saying that. I'm saying this is my own opinion. This is how I feel. You got to do things your way that's going to work best for you, you know, to make you feel good. Like I said, I think, I don't know, was it last show or show before last I said, you got to be able to look in the mirror and see yourself and be happy. Because if you look in the mirror and you're not happy when you're looking at yourself, then that means you need work. And there's nothing wrong with getting some work. But get it done. Because what you see, somebody else see the same thing. They see the same thing. Some people don't want to tell you the truth. A lot of people that's your friends, they don't want to tell you the truth. I'm sorry to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. And tell me the truth about me. I, don't, I ain't got a problem with that. Because only two things can happen. I can try to work on it, or that's just going to be who I am. And that's just being honest. And we can be honest. We're going to take a quick break, man, and I'll be right back, man. We're going to just listen to Boogie Shoes all night long, as long as I'm here, man. Be right back in a minute. Girl, I 
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm back. I'm back once again, man. Yeah. Man, then, did y'all hear that? <laughs> Let me find out y'all ain't trying to work with me with that joint there, man. <laughs> I think that joint be cranking. Put your boogie shoe. You know what? When I did this song, my first vision was, um, my first vision, hey, go on. I just had it. That's that old time is kicking in. My first vision was when I wrote this song. Wow. Wow. My, I had it right at the tip of my tongue. You ever had something on the tip of your tongue and, and then you it, you lose it? You lose it. Like you be like in your brain trying to scramble like, hey, what I was going to say? Um. When I when I first wrote Boogie Shoes, my my vision was, of course, it was you know I wanted people up, dancing, party, having fun, um, and then when I got with uh, Geeking for Success, my man was saying like we could take this song and um, make it like an uplifting song, like just say you know. If you play basketball and your game was kind of messed up, this this was like a whole video we was trying to like coordinate together, and your game was kind of messed up. Then you know you go over to the sidelines and you put on these particular shoes, and they call the boogie shoes, and and you, you you now your game like that, you tight, you up there, and you doing your thing. So I had a whole lot of different visions on uh, where I wanted this to go, far as videos, and I'm still working on. Uh, the second half of that video, um, I'm still doing it with the youth. I still got the the contest. And then I'm really go we're gonna go full speed ahead now because the song is actually out. Uh, I'm doing a contest for the youth, contest for the youth to uh, make up their own boogie shoes dance, and whoever got the best dance, man, they're going to get a prize. It can be one person, it can be a group, it can be two people, however they want to do it, but it's, uh, I think the ages was from 5 to 17. Yeah, I think that was the ages. So, y'all keep that in mind, you know, if you got cousins, nephews, daughters, granddaughters, uh, sons, anybody that dance, you know, try to get the song, videotape them dancing on the song, uh, send it to me through uh, IG, um, YouTube, Facebook, for I can check it out, man, and I can put you into the contest. I'll talk about, I'll, you know, I'll be continuing to talking about that as uh, time go on. Only, only reason that it's kind of stopped right now because of the corona. So, but you all still can be at home with your kids, grandkids, uh, nieces, nephews, whoever. Like I say, y'all got them dancing schools out there. Videotape them, man. Send that stuff to me. Uh, you can send it to um, let's do it again band at gmail.com. Uh, and I'll most definitely look at it. Let's do it again band at gmail.com. And I'll view it, man, and put it in to uh, where it belongs. And then when, like I say, when everything break through, boom, we're going we gonna to do it. We're going to have it. Um, don't forget, man, that y'all can catch me on um, live streaming. Thursday, I'm doing rap and, uh, rap and hip hop. That's live streaming. You got to go to Thomas Barley live streaming. I usually start around 9 o'clock. And sometimes I may be a little late, but nine out of ten, nine o'clock, I should be there. That's that's on Thursdays. On Fridays, I'm doing go go. You know, I like to go back, get the old school stuff, man, and you know some new stuff too. I'm doing that on Friday nights, man. I'm talking about this every week, nine o'clock, same time, just like working out. I try to do the same time. Um, Saturday nights. Saturday nights, I'm doing. Slow jams and R and B, man. Starting at nine o'clock, live streaming though. Y'all gotta go and 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 join up on me with the live streaming. It's Thomas Bartley Senior. 
But I think it's like Thomas Barley live streaming. I think that's how it is on YouTube. So, you know, y'all need to get with that because I ain't going to be able to do the um, Instagram and the Facebook when I'm doing the live streaming because I don't have the rights to all those different songs that I be playing. Because I don't know if y'all knew it or not, but I'm also, I'm a DJ. You know what I mean? I, I started DJing, you know, a long time ago. Uh, but I, I like that live band music. But anyway, um, and then on Sunday mornings, Sunday mornings, man, I start at 11 o'clock. I do the gospel. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking you to church, man. I ain't doing no preaching, but I'm just playing all that good soul gospel music, man. All that inspiration music, you know, like. Last Sunday, man, I almost started crying on that joint. That music sounded so good because that, that gospel do something to me. I just feel so good inside listening to that gospel. So you can catch me again live streaming, Thomas Barley live streaming uh, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. I, I appreciate, man, you know, you get up, you, you join in, man. Just You know, you can just have it on and doing whatever you want to do around the house. But just be listening, man. Um, and, then, uh, and then Monday, I'm, I'm chilling. Monday, I'm chilling. Tuesday, I'm chilling. And then Wednesday, I'm right back here. Where? Vox Wade. That's right, man. Wednesday night, 10, 10 o'clock. I mean, 10.30. I mean, 9.30. Good God of mine. 9.30 to uh, 10.30. And this is my schedule, y'all. This is my schedule. And I really appreciate who all do follow me. I appreciate all the people that are signing in. All the new people. Because I'm on, I'm on the IG. I'm on... Um, YouTube, I'm on Facebook, and I'm and I'm I'm following a lot of people. I'm even on TikTok, and I'm following a lot of people, and, and I'm trying to get those same people, you know, show me some love too, because I'm liking stuff that I see, you know what I mean, and I, you know, and I'm looking for the same. Sometimes y'all can do comments, y'all y'all lazy, y'all don't do no comments, y'all don't do no likes, y'all just want to, <laughs> y'all just want to look. Come on, man. Let's do this together, man. We're a community. We're a community, man. We we got to, you know, show love for whatever somebody else is doing. You know what I mean? Letting them know that they're doing a good job. You know what I mean? If they're not doing a good job, then let's let them know. You know what that means. You ain't doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? So, I got a, I got, you know, I got a team of people, man, working with me on my uh, Instagram, my Facebook, Instagram. Facebook. I got a Twitter page too. Um, I ain't really hit to the Twitter joint, so I'm, I'm kind of working on that one. That one kind of slow with me. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, TikTok. Man, TikTok is getting popular, man. I don't know if y'all hit the TikTok out there, but it's getting popular, man. A lot. Of, now I heard it started out just for the kids, but if you go on TikTok now, man, the adults done took over. They done took that thing over, man, for real. They done took that thing over. But um, there's a lot going on, man. I, I, I just hope we see better days, you know. I hope any information that I shared with y'all today, man, was helpful, you know. And it's not for everybody. If it don't fit you, don't take it personal, you know. You know, it, you know, because when, when, when people talk on IG, Facebook, uh, YouTube, you know, when they do these type of segments, it's not for nobody personal. It's just for anybody that we work at. You know, if it work for you, then, you know, absorb it. Try to make a better change. Try to do some things better in your life or whatever. If it don't, if you good and you tight, then you ain't got to worry about it. Because you should always be saying, yeah, he telling the truth. Because I had to go through that. And, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm good with my water go. And I'm good. You know what I mean? Uh, my hat goes off to all you mothers out there. All you mothers that's out there, man, homeschooling your kids, I take my hat off to you, man. I really do, man. I I know it's hard work because you're not even used to being, like, with your child all day like that. You know what I'm saying? You used to be gone to work. They gone to school. Y'all get together after five. And guess what happened? Homework, dinner, bed. Just in that order. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this, y'all. Bear with me. Home, dinner, work, and bed for the kid. Now you... Oh, Lord. 
This thing gets on my nerves sometimes. Now you, now you can't do that. I'm about to catch that later. Now you can't do that. Now you got to just, you know, you got to, you got to toughen it out. You got to toughen it out. And it's okay. That thing just taking pictures of me every time I touch it. But anyway, um, God is good, man. God is good, man. I want to send a shout out to my man, uh, Mr. Jackson, Donnell Jackson, man. Appreciate you, big boy. We was trying to make that move today, man, but we'll get another chance at it, man. But I appreciate you, man, you know what I'm saying, because I know your heart is in the right place, and you're trying to do the right thing. You know what I mean? Appreciate you, Steve, man. They call him Go-Go Steve. <laughs> man, I appreciate you, man, for coming out, man, to go roll down there with me today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my man, Brandon, appreciate you, bro, for working with me, man, in the background, man, on all that I'm doing, man, trying to help me. Uh, D Eagle, Million Dollar Moments, Big Dog, you too, man. You know what I mean? Because, you know, because they my team, man. They, they they work with me. We work with each other. But, you know, they they, they really behind me 100%, man. And in you in all in this world today, we really don't find a lot of people if you if you ain't got no money. Because if you got money, you got a million friends. If you got money, everybody wanna help you do something. Everybody wanna be a part. But when you ain't got no money, man, your friends are real scarce because they they ain't they can't get nothing from you. So man, I respect the guys, man, that's that's hanging in there with me, man. And, and if you continue to hang in there with me and we make this thing work, man, when I get the bag, you get the bag. I ain't a whole lot to that. Now, if you with me and then you fall off and things happen, you don't get no bag. Understand that. You got to weather the storm. You got to go all the way. You got to go all the way. You always had a memory to be able to say, yeah, I remember I was working with him before, man. But that's what you did. You worked with me before. The best thing to do is hang in there, man. Work all the way to the into the goal, man. Because it's gonna happen. I talked to a brother today, man, and he said, Tom, man, he said, man, you gonna get there, Slim. He said, man, because you you diligent, you work hard, man. You in there, you you don't be giving up, man. And I'm like, if I give up, then why did I work hard to get where I'm at? To give up? Nah. Nah. I think God got a plan for me. And I'm just behind time. That's all. But my time going to come, man. And when it come, it's going to come for y'all too. Because guess what? Y'all following me. Y'all supporting me. Y'all helping me. If ain't nobody told you they love you today, I do. From this time to the next time, peace. I'm out of here. Come on. Come on.